presenting Trigmaster, a program designed specifically for high school and college students studying trigonometry. On the left-hand side of the screen is a representative triangle. Below it are five icons. When paused over an icon, the acronym is depicted with tooltips. Here we have angle, side, side. Here we have side, side, side. What we're going to do is go through one of the sample problems supplied with Trigmaster. At the menu, we select Options, Sample Problems. Problem number one, because of prevailing winds, a tree grew so that it was leaning four degrees from the vertical. At a point 35 meters from the tree, the angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 23 degrees. Find the height h of the tree. The first thing we must do is determine what elements of this triangle are given. Here we have angle, side, angle. This is precisely what we will use to solve this particular problem. The print button is used to print this page out to the default printer. It is advised that this be done so that you can follow through with this sample. At the home page, we select angle, side, angle. For side B, we enter 35. For angle A, we enter 23. For angle C, we enter 94. This is the 90 degrees off of vertical plus the 4 degrees off of vertical. We now select the Solve button. Immediately at the chalkboard, a scale triangle depicting the data from the representative triangle is drawn. We can size it up for visual or printing. The distance from this intersection to this intersection is 35 meters, side B. The distance from this intersection to this intersection is 15.34847, side A, or also the solution to this problem, which is the height of the tree, H. Above the representative triangle, is a summation of all the given and computed values for this solution. If we select Show Solution, we're taken to the Solution page. Here, a complete step-by-step -step solution to this particular problem is shown. The values are were applicable in four decimal places. It's advised that this be printed out with the print button to the default printer and used as a study guide. This concludes problem number one. What we're going to do now is show some of the other features of Trigmaster. At the menu, selecting Option, Trig Tables, we're taking to the unit circle, a circle with a radius of one unit. By holding the increase button down, this one unit radius is advanced in one degree increments. When we stop, an angle is shown in the enter angle box. Here we stopped at 49 degrees. The value of x and the value of y is shown above the circle. The value of x is the distance from this intersection to this intersection. The value of y is from this intersection to the extreme outside of the circle. Below the circle are all the trigonometric functions for 49 degrees. Here is its value in radians. Any value at all can be entered in the enter angle box. Here we'll enter 221.35 degrees. Selecting the Compute button puts us in the third quadrant. The values for 221.35 degrees are given below the circle. Here is its value in radians. 
On the left-hand side of the screen are trigonometric identities, which can be used for later studies. This concludes the short presentation of TrigMaster. We hope that you purchase TrigMaster at www.trigmaster.com. It should also be noted that TrigMaster can solve virtually any plain trigonometry problem, be it an acute, an obtuse, or a right triangle. Thank you.